Okay, folks. Fedora Joe's cooking is back. This is the second installment of the Mexican fruitcake recipe. Now, as I said in my first video, um, when you get this cake out after 35 minutes or so, um, I'll show you a picture of what it should look like. Now, I'm trying to give like an aerial view of it here, as opposed to turning it around and doing the whole selfie thing. It's supposed to be a golden brown, as you can see. Now. Also, uh, while the cake has been baking, I've chilled the icing that I was made. And if you can remember, the icing is made with two cups of powdered sugar, anywhere from eight to 12 ounces of cream cheese, um, two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring, anywhere from one to two, I like to use two, and one stick of butter. Now, that cream cheese and butter is softened uh, to a degree where it's easy to stir, different things like that. Um, now, let me get you my... This is the end result of what the icing should look like. Now, um, sometimes I melt well, not melt, but I soften my butter, cream cheese, in the microwave. Now, let me warn you uh, for softening it up like that. If you do that, you have to watch about melting the butter uh, to a point where it's liquefied. If you do that, the butter consistency in this uh, icing has to be that of soft but not liquefied. Same goes for the cream cheese. It has to be soft and the cream cheese should not be runny. So that way your icing will have consistency. Now, if you do let that melt to where part of it is liquefied, the end result is, is you're gonna have, you're still gonna have a sweet icing, but it will be vastly discolored where it will be more of a almost yellow color as opposed to a white color now you can add uh, some powdered sugar to that and stir it up some more and it will bring color back believe <clears throat> believe me i've done that before and i've had to adjust the recipe to add a little bit more powdered sugar to bring out the color of the icing and sometimes it's going to come out depending on uh, different things how much you soften the butter if you've microwaved it different things like that your icing is going to come out anywhere from a a really white colored icing down to you know a, like a cream colored a little above cream colored colored icing now thing here is this icing let me get my spatula the icing that you're going to put on the cake you have to remember this icing needs to be put on while the cake is hot because um, that way it spreads a little better different things like that so there's a little better, does a little better uh, all over the cake as opposed to just if it's both are cold, you're going to have to put a little bit more effort into spreading the, the uh, icing. I'm going to get this all icing up and then we're going to look at it. Now, the end result of this cream cheese icing 
it's not pretty by no means. Um, the cake, the icing, whatever. It's not pretty, but boy, is it good. Like I said, not anywhere I go and make this cake, uh, I'm asked to make it. It's always a requested piece. Um, wherever I'm, I do this for like any kind of, you know, work function or things like that. Because I do, you know, I work full time. Um, so I'm not going to, you know, be posting these videos every day, the periodic videos. Um, and I can tell you right now, I can I can bake pretty well, but I am not the best icer in the world. If I could learn how to icing a cake real well, now don't get me wrong, I can make tiered cakes, but that icing, for some odd reason, just kind of kicks my butt about every time. Um, now, on some occasions, I have a turntable to wear cake on. I can throw it around there and be all fancy and, you know, icing the cake, you know. But it is, like I said, not a pretty sight. Uh, now, some days are better than others with me doing the big icing cakes. I'll tell you a little story. One time I made a cake. It's one of my, I don't know what I was thinking about, but I made a tiered cake. And you know how you put it in the refrigerator and you know you let it cool, do all your normal things. But you have these dowels that they have for these cakes that um, you're supposed to put in these tiered cakes to, of course, keep them <laughs> tiered. Um, as opposed to falling in and down in the um, refrigerator. Now, me and all kinds of excited about making this tiered cake and everything. And it's all good to go. And I was like, man, I got this. Did a real good job on that cake. And forgot to put the dowels in the cake before I put them in the fridge. Now, and then just put it in the fridge and walked away, thinking everything was good. Well, a little while later, now you'll quickly realize if you've let a cake cool long enough, if you stick it in the fridge without dowels, a tear cake without dowels, you'll quickly realize just how long you probably should have let that cake cool before you put it in there. You might want to let that thing out all day, uh, <laughs> considering what happened in my refrigerator. Well, needless to say, I put this thing in there no dowels, none of that, and it collapsed, fell apart in my refrigerator. Now, let's do kind of a selfie with this cake here. Everybody can see that. Now, like I said, there's no here. That's the end result of the uh, the cake now it uh, take a little while now once you get it iced up and all that get everything on it I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator or you can leave it out and let it cool and put it straight in the refrigerator, whatever you would like. I usually go ahead and put mine straight in the refrigerator because I can tell you, I have a almost, almost 18 year old son. Between me and him and you know, my wife, this cake doesn't really last a whole long time in the house. So once it goes in the refrigerator, it's about game over. I also wanted to mention 
I said a little while in my first video about my granddaughter helped me cook. Well, I have two granddaughters. Um, one of which is my little helper with the, with the brownies and all that. And I have another newborn granddaughter that's three months old. You know, I also do this, you know, of course, it'll be a little while before she'll ever realize, you know, what, what's going on in these videos and things, but I also make them for her as well, you know, to kind of wrap up the, the uh, this Mexican cake recipe. Uh, love my kids, my wife, my granddaughters, you know, and uh, I want them to see me, you know, in a fun thing, and maybe they can watch me for years to come. <clears throat> so this will always be on the internet. They can always find it, you know, and it's just something from fun for me to do. So I appreciate you watching this video. Um, if it's on, whenever I figure out how to do this whole YouTube thing and uh, get me an actual page set up for YouTube, uh, I hope you subscribe. I will upload the videos to that YouTube page. But I'm also on Instagram. And follow me on Instagram and also subscribe to the YouTube page once I get it up. I so much appreciate you tuning in, watching here from my house here in West Virginia. And uh, just uh, hope you like the recipe. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to message me and I will let you know this recipe if you need to me to write it out um, and uh, thank you for your time this is Fedora Joe's cooking and you have a good day